I hope that Italians won't beat you up after hearing that. Don't forget that locals are not on holidays here. Or basically anything to do with the carbonara. You are a guest here, so be a guest. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another chatty video. In today's video, I've decided to collect a few things that you should never say to an Italian if you don't want to offend them. And I hope that you don't since you're here on my channel. Anyway, if you want to learn how to be a mindful traveler when visiting Italy and communicating with the locals, make sure to watch this video till the end. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button down below so you don't miss anything new. Now, if you're ready, without further ado, let's get into the video. The thing number one that you should never say to any Italian you meet is something along the lines of I like Italian pizza, but American pizza tastes better. Or, you know, you can insert basically any nation uh, into this line. But, but guys, I hope that Italians won't beat you up after hearing that, but they'll be profoundly insulted. Because when in Rome, act like Romans, guys. You are entitled to have your preferences, that's fine. But when you're in Italy, don't offend the locals by saying so, you know? Because Italians are obviously convinced that their pizza is the best, and I share this opinion 100%. I'm a huge fan of Italian pizza. I think it really is the best. And obviously, being so religious about their food and about their cuisine, Guys, nobody would like to hear that. And as I said, it actually uh, can be applied to any nation because I have French friends who are convinced that pizza tastes better in France. And they might say something like that when they're in France, but not when they're in Italy. I think this is the basic uh, idea of being mindful around other people who uh, value their traditions and their cuisine and for whom it's important, you know, guys, just be mindful. The next thing to never say to an Italian obviously concerns food once again and it would be something along the lines of uh, i put cream into my carbonara or i put a raw egg into my carbonara or basically anything to do with the carbonara because if you don't know the original authentic recipe better ask how do i prepare it than suggesting modifications and you know outrageous recipes to an italian who knows how to prepare it way way better than you and Obviously, guys, you know, when you're in Italy, just go to a local osteria and try the authentic dish there. Don't try to invent something new. Italian cuisine is good as it is. And instead of offending the locals by suggesting your modifications, ask them for a sip or go somewhere and try the authentic recipe while being here in Italy. The next thing is a very sensitive topic. Do not say La Gioconda is French. Guys, this is really, really offensive and most Italians still hold grudges about the fact that it's been on exhibit in uh, Louvre in France because La Gioconda is obviously Italian, as is a huge part of Louvre's art collection. And most Italians are still very sensitive and are quite offended when mentioning basically any nation that has ever robbed this amazing country of their art masterpieces. So do not say that and educate yourself and going to Italy. Know the Italian artist and the Italian masterpiece, guys, because this country is the cradle of art. And sure, you need to know at least the basics when visiting it. Next up, the thing number four to never mention to an Italian is something like, you're lucky because you have La Dolce Vita. Oof. There is a lot to unpack here. Well, first of all, La Dolce Vita is an actual historical period that happened a few decades ago. It's not the way of living for the majority of people here. Secondly, even though tourists perceive Italy as an eternal feast, don't forget that locals are not on holidays here. Locals are living their lives every single day. They go to work and they work a lot. It's not about uh, just, you know, having fun all day long and drinking wine all day long and relaxing. And this is just a very, very wrong perception of Italy. Italians are actually very hardworking. And I say that in all of my videos. People just know how to have fun and relax after they finished work. And that's perfect because Italy actually offers a good work-life balance. However, that's not to say that they're relaxing all day long and do not assume that and do not say that. I will leave you a link up here to one of my videos where I dismantle the common myth about Italy, including this one. And also, if you want to learn more about life in Italy, if you're a prospective expert in Italy, make sure 
to check out the link in the description box to my Patreon page, where I post regular travel updates, tips, itineraries, all the best uh, hidden secrets and hidden tips I know, and of course the tips on expat life and how to survive in Italy and how to make your move here less stressful, how to enjoy this wonderful country to the fullest. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss anything. Check out the link in the description box. The last thing on my list of things to never say to an Italian today is something like Italy is beautiful, but XYZ makes it a bad place to live here. Well, guys, you are a guest here, so be a guest, be mindful. I think virtually anybody would be offended if you said anything like that about their country. That would be absolutely normal. You're not entitled to criticize this country if you're an expert or if you're a tourist here. And actually it applies to any single country. Even more so, if you talk to an Italian and you hear them uh, criticizing Italy and saying that something is wrong here and something is not working here, you better not say like, oh yeah, I noted that as well. You're absolutely right, it's a bad place to live. No. Yeah, you can listen to them politely, but maybe not engage into the critics. And I think this is, as I said, it applies to any single country, guys. Only the person who was born there and have lived there for their entire life is probably entitled to criticize it because they know the full picture. But as a guest, you are in no position to do so. This is just so, so wrong and not mindful at all. And that's it for today, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. As you probably know, if you've been here for a while, I'm a huge advocate of being mindful travelers. And I think that the bottom line of this video is to respect everybody and respect any country that you visit. Be a guest, be a mindful guest, and just, you know, pay due respect to the place that is welcoming you. This is so, so important. If you're new here, guys, once again, I remind you to subscribe and hit that bell button down below. I have more travel vlogs, more chatty videos in stock for you. So yeah, welcome to our lovely family. And I'm so happy to see you here. Please, please join us and subscribe. And as usual, don't forget to like, comment, and share this video with your friends so I can make more videos like this. Thank you guys for being here and enjoy your day.